Alright. Alright, I'm back, and we're going to enter Rock Bottom Museum, where Barnacle Boy is going to give SpongeBob an assignment. Crap. Damn it. <laughs> Crap. Hey there, Barnacle Boy. Say, warn me if that sponge kid comes back again, okay? What the hell are you talking about? SpongeBob's the one you're giving the assignment to, you damn piece of crap. No wonder you're stupid. You're 68 years old and you probably have Alzheimer's. Crap, we have to go back outside because I forgot you gotta be SpongeBob. <sighs> I mean, you could do the whole area as Sandy. I don't see why you couldn't, but. You know, you're supposed to. You get over here, you stupid chop. Get out of here. Alright, SpongeBob, in you go, in the shoot. In the shoot, in the shoot we go. I love it. Barnacle <laughs> Boy, are you on patrol down here? Oh, yeah, of course he is. No, this is my second job. I work security. Now, listen, if you want to reach the Golden Spatula, you need to shut off the museum's security system. Another security system. Damn, everything has a security system. You're so state of the art. Do you have to iron those pants or are they wrinkle free? Unlike you. <laughs> I never heard him say unlike you. Pay attention, kid. This is serious stuff. Now, if we don't get this robot thing resolved, I, 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 I honestly I never heard him say unlike you. Because I've always. Four screaming kids. <laughs> now, well, it's, a it's a bummer. It's a bummer. Yeah, I see it. It's like right there. Yeah, I see it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. -y. That's where you exit the museum. Good luck, kid. Oh yeah, so we enter through a vent, and now we gotta exit through a vent. Where the hell are the doors? I mean, are there doors in this damn museum? Cause I don't see any. I think people in Rock Bottom just don't use doors. They just use vents. I won't let you down, Barnacle Boy. Yeah, it will. It lets you down hard. Not easy like some people. Now look, watch out for those electrical things because they will hurt. And I need to press four buttons. Boom. Get some. Get some, you damn thing. Ha. Huh? You suck at life, you stupid shocky thing. And get out of here. Get out of here, you stupid shock. Yeah. I have died many a times at this part. Because it is annoying. Hey, look, a sock. There's one of the socks I told you about in the last part. Jump. And get out of here, you stupid shocky. Yeah. We got one more to go. Uh, this one's a real bitch because he's annoying. Ah! See what he does? He's a bitch. Get out of here, bitch. Yeah, boom. And then. Ta da! And now robots show up. Oh, yeah, you can't get me, can you? Look at him. Look at him trying. Hey, look. Somebody has little man syndrome. Little man syndrome. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, burr, burr. Get out of your sleepy time. Yeah, sleeping on the job. Lucky you aren't fired. I mean, he's got to be one of the laziest robots ever. He just sleeps 98% of the time, and then when somebody passes by, he's like, I'm trying to sleep here. Get out of here. Can a robot take his nap? Dude, you've been sleeping for like 18 hours. Yeah? What's it to you? Uh. Oh, I just want to know why you sleep so damn long. Alright, do we get everything? Eh, kinda. <laughs> kinda, kinda. Another sleepy time. Get out of here, sleepy time. Look, it's a bowl of fruit. Who has a bowl of fruit in a museum? Come on, it's so cliche. It's cliche. But look, it's still like his fields, and what the hell is Patrick doing? He has like a a guy on a stretcher. What the hell? 
<laughs> and SpongeBob's like, I don't care. I'm just gonna jellyfish. Patrick's got a gun. I stretch it, but I don't care. And look, it's just like a hat. I think that's Sandy's hat. It's gay. Oh, and there's Sand Mountain. We did that level already. We do. And then I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. Some kind of. Oh, look at that. Who doesn't want to go in there? Who do? And look, here's that stupid, retarded picture of SpongeBob again. If you remember from the episode where, uh. The Lifeguard. It's the Lifeguard episode again, where he's like, I'm cool, and then it zooms in on him, and he's like a little nerd. Yeah, it's a little boom, Frankenstein in the back. Open that teleport box, it'll come in handy for beginners. So you don't have to redo everything. Get out of here. There, I pressed the button. Alright, now you gotta go across these, like, teeter totters. These little seesaws. <laughs> uh, man. If you guys have ever seen, uh, Family Guy, it's funny. Because, um, well, I know Kenyans probably already said this, but Carrot Top. Ah, oh, damn it! Do, do, do! Carrot Top put glasses on a saw and called it a seesaw. It was, it was funny. If you aren't subscribed to Kenyon's channel, you should. He's got good Call of Duty commentaries. And he did a walkthrough for this game, too. I watched his walkthrough like a couple of years ago, and that's what got me interested in wanting to do walkthroughs of my own. Because his walkthrough's funny. I, I've literally seen it like three times, four times. It's just so funny. I'm probably the only person who's seen his walkthrough extensively. But who cares? I like it. It's funny. And I especially like that one part where it's only like two minutes long. And his, he he's playing the game while his friend's playing Call of Duty. Or some game. I, I can't remember what he was playing. He was playing some kind of Call of Duty. And I don't know if he was playing the campaign or something. But he kept dying at this one part, and so he finally like gets it, and he gets all excited, and he knocks over the Nick uh, Kenyans for the Wind's camera. And it's just funny, it's just hilarious, and then he just stops it for two minutes because you, you should watch that part. You should watch the whole walkthrough. I mean, come on. Watch my walkthrough and then watch his walkthrough. Just for funny commentary. Get out of here, Chuck. You damn robot. Yeah. Crap, we're already at eight minutes. We're not even halfway through this museum. I think what we're going to do is we're going to stop it here and... I guess you should just watch the next part and we'll continue the museum. I didn't know the museum was going to have to be cut into two parts, but yeah, just watch the next part and we'll continue the museum.